Hi everybody! Gearbest has sent me yet another new product to test out for them and uh, they are so thoughtful because they always ask me what would work best for me and they give me a list of you know things that they might need tested and I said well uh, I film in 4k now I picked up a 4k TV at the beginning of the summer, or I should say spring, because Mr. Vincent put his forehead through our 10-year-old flat screen. So, they sent me the mini TV box, as you can see right here. And uh, it is a multi-core, I believe quad-core, 4K Ultra HD uh, TV box. Oh, and this Vizio TV won't play YouTube in 4K either, but this box will. Uh, it's also compatible with things like uh, Sling Player uh, and can decode that newish codec H.265, which for virtually identical video quality uses about half the data rate as H.264 encoding. Does YouTube. Netflix, Slingbox, pretty much everything. It's an Android based. So I'm going to hook it up and we're going to play around with it just a little bit and see what happens. Before connecting it up, let's just take a look at the actual box itself. Uh, this is one of the smallest uh, boxes I've had the opportunity to look at. I mean, I've had some Roku's. They don't do 4K and they are still fairly limited, so I gave those to my, my parents so they could watch Netflix at home. It has a micro SD slot, uh, USB, right, yep. Uh, optical audio out. Uh, you got Ethernet if you so desire a hardwire connection, although I will be using Wi Fi. <clears throat> uh, HDMI output, and now this is also HDMI, the uh, 2.2. 2, uh, I can never remember what that code number is. Uh, well, it does 4K at 60 frames per second, uh, HD, HDMI 2.0, and it's supposed to also do the, the 2.2, uh, which is a restriction. Um, if you don't have, I believe it's, I think it's called HDMI 2.2 or 2.2 or something similar to that. If you don't have a device that uses that 2.2, Netflix will not output in 4K and they will only output in 1080p. Uh, another USB on the back and your power port. That's it. It's a compact, extremely lightweight device. And it also includes uh, your HDMI cable. Power supply. Uh, power supply is uh, 5 volts at 2 amps, so I suppose if you wanted to, you could also modify, uh, cut the plug off and modify it to run, you know, as a USB plug instead, and get just a 2 amp USB port, you know, charger to type, type thing, <coughs> and a very nice remote. Well, first a flash Google TV and then M-Box, make your life colorful. Uh, I'm not going to use uh, the HDMI cable that came with it as I don't need it. Uh, that's the first time I've turned it on and I'm not too familiar with uh, Android. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead right away and plug in my USB adapter here. And yep, it is reading the card. Oh, USB drive connected. Any there? All right, network display. Let's start with network. Wi-Fi. Alucard. And I'm going to stop the video while I input passwords. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Connect successfully. Let's try a different one. Let's try a uh, movie player. Wow. And this is with my old AX33. The AX53 I'm using right now is considerably better. Wow. 
long as that clear. Of course, since you guys are watching a recording through another recording being displayed on a TV, uh, it's probably not looking as good. So, the box can handle a 100 megabit stream. Oh! Go into the next one. Let's see, we'll skip. Let's see if it'll do my train video. <coughs> yeah, that looks pretty good too. Fast forward. Oh, it even does 3D. Forgot about that feature. Skip ahead and check out a little more graphics and we'll check out some of the other apps. Impressive that it's able to even skip like this. So, and I know it's not smooth, but uh, considering that this is a hundred megabit stream off of a USB drive, Enough of that. Uh, online, oops. Online video. Cody, Netflix, YouTube, or you can add. See what Netflix looks like. All right, signed in. Can't grab the right remote now. Would you like to receive notifications? No. Just remember this is a Android OS so you can get notifications just like your uh, just like your phone or tablet would. And I'm going to bring up the uh, actual TV menu. You can see I am at 2160p which is 4K. Uh, now, let's see, let's mute the TV itself, can't have copyrighted audio. Uh, oh, not that one, this one, there we go. Let's see, that should give a good sample. Just remember I have audio off. Not too bad, about the best 2 megabit will get us, but, and I'm also not on Netflix's 4K plan, no, nor have the uh, fastest internet speeds. It's pretty clear, I'd say it's better picture than uh, DVD plays. Alright, well, Netflix works. Let's switch over to interwebs. I wonder what we could go to. Ooh. 4K Tesla. <laughs> Looks good. Updating back up. Play Store. That's the big one right there is Play Store. 
um, which will pretty much let you install pretty much anything Android. So you could actually install something like the Tesla app right on your TV or on the box and uh, preheat or pre-cool your car right from, the, uh, right from your TV then. So, I mean, basically, App Store is self-explanatory. If you want, you could download Angry Birds. You can have a lot of fun with it. But uh, if you're really just looking for an excellent way to play your videos or music on your TV, uh, this will do it. And it has the functionality of your Android. So if you hook up a, you know, say a, a, wi uh, excuse me, a wireless Bluetooth uh, keyboard or mouse, uh, you pretty much got yourself a gigantic Android computer, a Chrome-style computer-ish, in a way. Uh, local, what is that? Oh. Of course, you got your YouTubes as well. Pretty smooth usage. And this box will play Netflix and YouTube in 4K. A lot of the TVs that come with <laughs> Japan. A lot of the TVs that come with all the built in apps that are 4K TVs can't play using those apps in 4K, only 1080, because they don't meet a lot of the requirements or don't have the processing power to do it. <clears throat> Lego, plane crash, and slow motion. I'll have to watch that later. All right, powering off the box, see what happens. Shutting down. 